IORT, radiation therapy, has been around for a long time, but the resurgence and in the interest in interoperative radiation therapy is the fact that we now have mobile linear accelerators that can deliver very high doses of radiation therapy directly to where the cancer was at the time of surgery in an operating room that is not a big thick cement vault that needs that we generally need for a linear accelerator. IORT has been of a big use and big boom in Europe and it's now coming to the United States. Here in my practice at St. Joseph Hospital we're really lucky to have a mobile linear accelerator called the Mobitron. Uh, we've been using this technology for the past three years to do the boost part of whole breast radiation therapy, starting the radiation therapy at the time of surgery so we can directly look right onto the area where the cancer was, making sure the dose of the radiation therapy is being properly delivered. We also have uh, two protocols in addition here at St. Joseph Hospital where we do the boost interoperatively followed by a shortened hypofraction radiation therapy or we now have a single fraction one time only radiation therapy in selected cases and again that's done through a research protocol. So clearly IORT is cutting edge treatment of breast cancer I'm very fortunate to have it available for my practice. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.